I'll be coming back for you in a minute. We've got to get away. We've got to run away. Yes, eh? <laughs> and who might you be? <laughs> no, 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 now, don't tell me. <laughs> Let's see, you're, uh, you're traveling in disguise. No, that's not right. I've, uh, you're, uh, you're going on a visit. No, I'm wrong. That's, uh, by the way, you're, uh, you're running away. How did you guess? <laughs> Professor Marvel never guesses. He knows. <laughs> now, why are you running away? No, 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 don't tell me. Uh, they, uh, they don't understand you at home. They don't appreciate you. You want to see other lands, big cities, big mountains, big oceans. <laughs> Why, it's just like you could read what was inside of me. Yeah. Uh, oh, Toto, that's not polite. We haven't been asked yet. <laughs> He's perfectly welcome. <laughs> As one dog to another, huh? <laughs> Yeah, now, let's see, where were we? Uh, oh, please, Professor, why can't we go with you and see all the crown heads of Europe? Do you know any? Oh, you mean the thing? Yes, uh, well, uh, I, uh, I never do anything without consulting my crystal first. Let's uh, go inside here. Yeah, we'll uh, just come along. I'll show you. That's right here. Sit right down here. That's it. <laughs> this, uh, this is the same genuine, magic, authentic crystal used by the priests of Isis and Osiris in the days of the pharaohs of Egypt, in which Cleopatra first saw the approach of Julius Caesar and Mark Antony and, uh, and so on and so on. Now, uh, you, uh, you'd better close your eyes, my child, for a moment in order to be better in tune with the infinite. We, uh, we can't do these things without reaching out into the infinite. Yes, that's... That's all right. Now you can open them. We'll gaze into the crystal. Uh, what's this I see? A house with a picket fence and a barn with a weather vane and a, uh, of a, of a running horse. <laughs> That's our farm. <laughs> yeah. Yes, there's a, there's a woman. She's, uh, she's wearing a, a polka dot dress. <laughs> her face is careworn. That's her name. Yes, her, uh, her name is Emily. That's right. What's she doing? Well, I, uh, I can't quite see. Why, she's crying. Someone has hurt her. Someone has just about broken her heart. Me? Well, it's, uh, it's someone she loves very much. Someone she's been very kind to. Someone she's taken care of in sickness. I had the measles once, mm. and she stayed right by me every minute. Uh -huh. What's she doing now? Yes, yeah, she's, uh... What's this? Well, she's, she's putting her hand on her heart. Well, she's, she's dropping down on the bed. Oh, no, no. You know, that's all. The crystal's gone dark. Oh, you, you don't suppose she could really be sick, do you? Oh, oh, I've got to go home right away. But what's this? I thought you were going along with me. Oh, no, no. I have to get to her right away. Uh -huh. Come on, Toto. Come on. Come on. Goodbye, Professor Marvel. Better get under cover, Sylvester. There's a storm blowing up a whopper. Just speaking the vernacular of the peasantry. Poor little kid. I hope she gets home all right. <laughs> 